Our today's lesson is about solving quadratic equation using extracting the square root method. To begin with, let us take note of the following. A number is the root or solution of a quadratic equation if, when the number is substituted for the variable, the equation becomes a true statement. For a quadratic equation, there are at most two real roots. Quadratic equation that can be written in the form x squared is equal to k can be solved by applying the following properties. First, if k is greater than 0 or if your k is a positive number, then x squared is equal to k has two real solutions or roots. That is, x is equal to plus and minus the square root of k. Second, if k is equal to 0, then x squared is equal to k has only one real solution or root. That is, x is equal to 0. And third, if k is less than 0, or that means your k is negative, then x squared is equal to k has no real solution or root. This method of solving quadratic equation x squared is equal to k is called extracting square roots. We have the steps in solving quadratic equation by extracting the square root. First, transpose the constant term to the right side. Second, make the value of a equal to 1 by dividing both sides by the value of a. Third, get the square root of both sides. And lastly, check each solution if they are real. Let us watch the examples closely. Okay, now we are going to solve for the roots of a quadratic equation by using the extracting square root method. So take note that to apply this method, we need to write the quadratic equation into this form. x squared is equal to k. Otherwise, if the quadratic equation could not be written into this form, then we could not make use of this method. So, let us have an example. Suppose we have x squared minus 121 is equal to 0. Okay? So, the first thing that we should do is to write this quadratic equation into this form. So, we can do that by transposing the constant term, negative 121, to the other side of the equation. Okay? So, take note that if you transpose, you change the sign. So, we just have to bring down x squared. So, that is equal to transpose negative 121 to the other side. So, from negative, it becomes positive. Okay. Next, we are now going to extract the square root. So, therefore, we have to have square root of x squared is equal to plus and minus the square root of 121. Okay. So, therefore, x is equal to the square root of 121. So, we have plus and minus 11. Okay? So, we are going to check whether these values are real solutions. So, in checking, we must use the original equation. So, take note in checking the Original equation must be used. So, let us have x is equal to positive 11. So, we are going to replace 11 on the quadratic equation. So, you have the original equation is x squared minus 121 is equal to 0. So, we have 11 squared minus 121 is this equal to 0 so 11 squared is 121 minus 121 so therefore 0 is equal to 0 so that is correct okay next if we have x is equal to negative 11 
Okay, so we substitute negative 11 to the original equation. So let us see if it is equal to 0. So negative 11 squared is positive 121. So minus 121. So therefore, 0 is equal to 0. Okay, so therefore, the roots of the equation are 11 and negative 11. Okay? Okay, now let us try 2y squared minus 50 is equal to 0. So we are going to transpose the constant term to the other side. So we have to bring down the quadratic term, 2y squared. So that is equal to positive 50. So we change the sign of negative 50. So it becomes positive 50 since we transpose it. Next is for us to make the value of a equal to 1. So we are going to divide both sides by 2 so that this one will be cancelled out. So therefore, we have y squared is equal to 50 divided by 2. You have 25. Next is to get the square root. So therefore, square root of y squared is y is equal to plus and minus the square root of 25, which is 5. Okay? So let us do the checking. So if x, or rather y, sorry, y is equal to 5, so we are going to make use of the original equation. So you have 2 times y will be replaced by 5 squared minus 50 is equal, is it equal to 0? So we have 2 times 5 squared is 25 minus 50. So 2 times 25 is 50 minus 50. So therefore 0 is equal to 0. Okay, next we have the second value of y, which is negative 5. So same process, we are going to replace y by negative 5. So is it equal to 0? So you have 2 times negative 5 squared is positive 25. That makes 2 times 25. So you have 50 minus 50. So 0 is equal to 0. So we could see here, based on our checking, that 5 and negative 5, when substituted to the original equation, 2y squared minus 50 is equal to 0, make this statement a mat true mathematical equation. So therefore, we have two real roots, which are 5 and negative 5. Okay, what if we have this equation? x minus 4 squared is equal to 169. Okay, take note that this equation is already written in the form x squared is equal to k. So we can now proceed to extracting the square root right away. So we have the square root of x minus 4 squared is equal to plus and minus the square root of 169. So we have to cancel this out. So you have x minus 4 is equal to plus and minus the square root of 169 is 13. Yes. So... We solve for x, so we have x is equal to transpose negative 4 to the other side, so it becomes positive So since it is negative on this side. So bring down plus and minus 13. Okay, so therefore, to solve for the first value of x, so we have 4 plus 13. So therefore, the first value of x is 17. Okay. Well, the second value of x is 4 
minus 13. So, 4 minus 13, that is negative 9. So, the question is, are these two values real solutions? Okay, so we are going to check. We are going to do the checking. So, let us first have x is equal to 17. So, x is equal to 17. So, we replace x by 17 so 17 minus 4 squared is it equal to 169 so 17 minus 4 is 13 square it so 13 square you have 169 so you see if x is 17, it makes the quadratic equation a true mathematical statement. So, ibig sabihin, x is equal to 17 is a real solution. Next, let us have x is equal to negative 9. So, we replace negative na x. We replace x by negative 9. So, minus 4 squared. So, is it equal to 169? So, negative 9 minus 4 is negative 13. So, negative 13 square is 169. So, the two sides of the equation are both equal. So, that means negative 9 is a real solution. So, we have two real roots and those roots are 17 and negative 9. Okay? Okay? So, let us have an activity. Get your papers and pen ready. So, let us solve for the roots by extracting the square root. So, the first one is 5x squared minus 18 is equal to 2. So, what would be our first step? We are going to transpose the constant term to the right side. So therefore, we have 5x squared is equal to 2 plus 18. So 2 plus 18 is 20. Then next, we divide both sides by 5. So therefore, we have x squared is equal to 4. Then we take the square root of both sides. So therefore, we have x is equal to plus and minus 2. So, checking, we have if x is equal to 2, remember that in checking, we are going to make use of the original equation. So, if x is equal to 2, we have 5 times 2 squared minus 18 is equal to 2. So, that is... 2 square is 4 times 5, so you have 20, minus 18. So therefore, we have 2 is equal to 2. If x is equal to negative 2, so we replace negative 2 to x in the original equation. So therefore, negative 2 square is 4 times 5, so you have 20, minus 18. So, therefore, 2 is equal to 2. So, therefore, the roots or solutions are positive 2 and negative 2. Okay, let us have the following equations. You are given 3 minutes to solve for the roots of the 4 equations.
So if you're done, let us check your answer. For number 2, we have d squared plus 6 is equal to 0. So we transpose a constant term to the right side. Therefore, we have d squared is equal to negative 6. Since our k is negative, the equation has no real group. Number 3, 3 squared plus 2 is equal to 77. So again, we are going to transpose positive 2 to the other side. So we are going to have 3e e squared is equal to 77 minus 2. So therefore, we have 3e e squared is equal to 75. Next is to ask for us to make the value of a equal to 1. So we are going to divide both sides by 3. So therefore, we have e square is equal to 25. Then we get the square root. So therefore, e is equal to positive and negative 5. So by checking, we can find that positive 5 and negative 5 are both real roots. Remember that in checking, we are going to make use of the original equation. For number 4, we have 7x squared is equal to 0. We simply divide both sides by 7. So therefore, x squared is equal to 0. Since our k is equal to 0, therefore, there is only one root which is 0. So that ends our lesson for your handouts and worksheets. Kindly visit again our webpage. Thank you and God bless.